Hi, everyone, and welcome to this new episode of Muse Coffee Corner. So now you should be used to this uh, webinar where we welcome one technology provider from our wonderful industry and marketplace, in this case, and one common, common customers who will share a bit more about the ecosystem and the benefits of this partnership. Today, the topic will be the future of automation for hoteliers and the benefits that it drives. And as you can see, I have two wonderful guests today here, Luca from the technology side and Moritz from the customer or hotelier side. Could we do want, please, Luca, to introduce yourself? Damien, thank you for the wonderful intro. Uh, I'm Luca, I'm the founder of Flexkeeping. My story in very short, I was a housekeeper many years ago, saw that uh, operations would really come in handy with some digitalization. Um, so we uh, we founded, I founded Flexkeeping with the intention to make it easier on staff um, to uh, boost efficiency in operations uh, and essentially to drive better guest experiences. And so super happy and stoked to be here uh, and happy to get this um, conversation going. Amazing. Well, thanks for your time and for this quick but very nice story. Moritz, uh, very nice to have you. Thank you for your time also. Please, can you tell us a bit more about yourself to begin with? Yeah, thank you, Damien, also for uh, for having me here. And Luca, uh, um, no, yeah, my name is Moritz. I am a hotel ICT uh, specialist for Westcourt and um, started uh, eight years ago with Westcourt Hotels as one of the hotel managers and uh, found myself in uh, legacy systems and uh, lots of paperwork and uh, from that uh, uh, from that moment onwards, actually, have always been trying for the operations to get things better, easier, more efficient. Uh, uh, and in my current role as uh, as the guy who was always complaining about how things could be better, actually, uh, for our chain now, uh, making things better uh, with uh, partners like uh, like yourselves, Muse, and and with Flexkeeping. Well, amazing. Thanks, Moritz, again. And I think you will be the perfect guest today to talk a bit more about. Uh, lighter infrastructure, let's say, and a bit more cloud-based um, yep. systems, let's say. Well, Moritz, if we if we follow up with you, can you tell us, you, you talked about the group, can you tell us a bit more about the group, your properties, um, what you do, how you do it, and share a bit more here, please. Yeah, yeah, no, so Westcourt Hotels, Dutch uh, hotel chain, 15 properties, uh, family-owned, uh, but independent-managed. So every hotel is actually uh, a company in itself, uh, the hotel manager, uh, the, the role I also had as a hotel manager is really from start to finish, you're responsible for what you do. And uh, uh, that makes us uh, really quirky at, at times because it's sometimes difficult to have one point of contact for all the properties, but we are more and more working towards that same goal. Uh, and that is that we want to have with these same uh, solutions uh, uh, tackle the same problems that we uh, that we have, even though every product is different, every hotel is different. We have uh, amazing hotels like the Hotel Jakarta in Amsterdam, but also the iconic SS Rotterdam, which is a former cruise liner. We have uh, 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 where we originate from also the, the Dutch Wadden Islands, uh, for example, the Strand Hotel Zeeduin, which is based on Vlieland. And so we have throughout the, the country of the Netherlands, we have uh, 15 properties. And I think the, the beauty about Westcourt is the fact that even though all our, all our hotels are different, uh, the product is different, but the uh, the things that we do there and, and especially the experience that we offer to our guests uh, uh, is the same being the best that we can offer and the best that th the market actually has to offer. And uh, it's, a, it's a great company to work for. Uh, obviously, I'm biased, but it is a, 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 a very, uh, as you could say, uh, um, a very free company to work for. Uh, we, we really take pride in, in the fact that every employee has an opinion and has a say in what we do. And that makes us uh, unique uh, and it makes our product unique, but it makes us, uh, I believe, uh, uh, the best hotel company uh, to work for and, and, and to stay at, obviously, uh, as a guest. Nice, nice. Well, very happy to hear. And you talk a lot about the system and kind of unification or at least really trying to solve some, some points. Um, what does it mean for you in terms of ecosystem at Westcourt? And you are, I think, the best person to talk about it from the tech mm -hmm. side. Uh, yeah. What does it mean for you? Um, um, what is the priority you put on the ecosystem and the tech stack you build? So the priority, obviously, is our PMS. Uh, everything we do comes together in a PMS. Uh, we are a hotel company. We, we, we sell hotel rooms. So yeah. having a, a proper marketing flow into a reservation, into the guest experience, into the checkout, it all has to uh, be uh, connected. Uh, in the past, uh, we had a, a 
25, 30 different systems that also did not uh, talk to each other. So now obviously all hotels on Muse, all operating in the same way, be it with a different configuration perhaps uh, in terms of the uniqueness of the product. Uh, but we do, uh, uh, we use the same uh, uh, software systems now and uh, everything that we do is all based on that same uh, uh, philosophy that if we want to grow as a chain together, we need to use each other uh, to grow as well. So uh, we centralize more and more in terms of uh, data. Uh, we bring together the various uh, uh, integrations uh, uh, all with the same uh, partners so that it's uh, um, for us, at least as a chain, even when also colleagues are changing hotels, for example, that not so much changes because there is already a lot of change when you change hotel. Um, but for uh, for us, it means that we uh, still have the same uh, partners that we work with. Uh, it's just the configuration is perhaps a little bit different. But the funny thing about that is uh, because we also uh, because we look under the hood of each other. Um, hotels actually learn from each other as well. So there's a lot of internal growth in terms of possibilities and, and a lot of flexibility as well in that. So it, 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 it's like the snowball effect. You, 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 you see a demo of a product, you think, hey, this could be nice for this hotel. But then there's another hotel who has a similar issue, but this product can do the same. Um, so in, in terms of uh, uh, um, yeah, really learning by doing, but also evolving, uh, evolving that further than just one property and it's um yeah yeah interesting and when you talk about this flexibility in terms of operations here of course we talk about our relationship news and flex keeping um wh why did you choose flex keeping finally and what did it bring to you in terms of operations well we were really on the on the market to uh, to find a better way to manage the day-to-day -day operations especially for housekeeping uh, obviously housekeeping is uh, it's hard work uh, but i think maybe even the most underestimated job within the hotel. Uh, everybody that comes to a hotel is there for a clean bed, a clean bathroom, uh, uh, and it should be ready at three. It, it, there, there's no, uh, uh, ideally before that, but there, everybody who comes to a hotel comes for the room, comes for that stay in the room uh, as a base product. So uh, what we were really looking for was uh, uh, how can we make sure that the employees on the floor actually have all the information they need to mm -hmm. have a flying start in the morning, to know exactly at, at the moment that the guest is requesting something that they know that it has to be done and it can be done. Yes. And also to, to take away all that paperwork, all those lists being printed, all those, uh, uh, all those the, 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 the hassle of planning the... Uh, the 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 the, uh, the hassle of, of calling each other, uh, uh, taking out all the human error because you know a receptionist might write down the wrong room number or the guest might actually uh, when they call the reception for extra towels they might maybe I don't know say the wrong room number. So we want to make absolutely sure that there's no more uh, uh, flaws there. And uh, I think flexkeeping, uh, well, well, I know for sure actually that flexkeeping has shown us to be uh, the perfect fit for that. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, very interesting. And I love what you said around the housekeeping and the, the fact it's not valued maybe correctly in the industry. Because as a guest, as you mentioned, the first thing that you want before talking about the experience is having a room as you expect the room to be. So this yeah. should be the basics and the foundation. And from this relation between news and flex keeping at your property, what are the, the, the exact uh, like metrics maybe or improvement that you've seen? Do you have any numbers to share in this regard? Well, I know uh, for a fact, for example, in Hotel Jakarta, we, we've seen a 70% increase of, of rooms being ready by 3 p.m. And, and uh, obviously in, in Amsterdam, a uh, high occupancy city, uh, when there's uh, an average length of stay maybe of uh, 2, 2.2 uh, nights, uh, it is very important that if a guest arrives, that the room is ready because people have yeah. probably traveled for maybe 10 or 15 hours. Uh, they've been in this, in this cramped uh, uh, airliner and they just want to have that the, the luxury of freedom and yeah. if the check-in moment as well is one of those yeah uh, thresholds to to actually go into the room where because the room's not ready yet it's it's just one it's it's an extra an extra yeah. annoyance and we wanted to take that away and yeah and so we've seen that it's uh no it's been great Amazing, great number, definitely. And maybe it's time for you, uh, Luca, to talk a bit more about our partnership. Thanks a lot, Moritz, for this very insightful um, data and information. It was really nice. Yeah.
I think we have very energetic people in the room today, so that's very cool. Uh, Luca, we know that we share quite some big names here, and we have we have them on uh, on the screen with the last one. Congrats for the last one at the top, of course, with Strawberry and the new announcement from your side. Um, can you tell us a bit more about this partnership, uh, Luca? Please. Yeah. No, first, I would like to say, Mar, it's great to hear all these um, aspects, you know, because I think, in my opinion, you're talking about the right aspects. So one is the guest experience, having rooms ready. The other is the appreciation for the job. The third one is the efficiency. Um, and I think that in your case, those those three aspects with our kind of our core value that we want to drive really come came out to show. Uh, and it's awesome to hear, you know, that you feel them. So it's really um, empowering, let's say, uh, just to do it, you know, to continue doing it. So I'm very happy to hear that. I think, Damien, what is great about our partnership is that essentially we are trying to do the same thing, but just uh, kind of uh, fulfilling uh, each other on the system side, right? You, uh, you guys at Muse, as you say, trying to remove the friction uh, for people, staff, guests, uh, we are then uh, adding on to remove that friction as well in operations more accurately. Um, I think that those visions are then felt, um, how they come together well, you know, in supporting operations like Moritz just said. Uh, and I also think that, you know, looking at the type of hotels that we are working together on um, are also a confirmation that this mutual vision of removing friction on the side of guests as well as staff is really working well together. Um, and I'm super happy to have all those uh, brands already here and uh, to continue working on that. I think that we are really delivering on a great and very important value um, to our mutual customers. Uh, and that's the motivation, really. Uh, and the ROI is really a consequence. So I think in your case, Maurice, there was a calculation that even uh, it came out of to a 3.3x uh, ROI or so yep. we did a study um, and that's really the, the goal at the end of the day. So I'm very, very, very happy to see this and to hear such positive feedback. Well, that's cool. I think the, the feedback and the, the fact that, yes, we share a good partnership, we have a good partnership and we share a common vision is completely right. And if you if you are more specific about the benefits of flex, of flex keeping here, and again, the relation with Muse, what can you tell us? What would be kind of tips for Hotelier or why uh, flex keeping is a good solution combined with Muse here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the three things I would maybe point out today is um, the first one is personalization, um, which is absolutely uh, became absolutely important, right? From a, an aspect of a traveler and just preferences, etc. Uh, and I think this is something that we really started doing well together. One exact specific example would be, for example, where we pick up um, Muse products and uh, convert that into automatic tasks for staff so that services are being delivered. Or we all even go beyond that level, you know, of personalization. If someone has a birthday, if uh, if there's uh, is a if it's a repeating guest, you know, any type of personalization that your service wants to deliver, we can really automate together and make sure that happens because many of those things get lost in translation between departments, between calls, you know, between papers, emails. Yeah. Uh, that's a huge thing that we started doing this year together or our partnership kind of enables for our mutual customers. I think it's a very important guest experience uh, and satisfaction driver. Um, the other side is the staffing side. Obviously, it's a problem as also Maritz kind of alluded to. It's uh, very important for them and everyone we want to support in the sense that one, you are optimized. And the other thing that we do, again, very well together is because we have a good deep integration, we on the side of flex keeping can then understanding the type of operation a property is leading, we can then also forecast extremely accurately what's coming and, and how much staff you need at what times, yeah. meaning that you can't, you know, you don't need to be under overstaffed, you know, you just need to be right staffed. <laughs> um, and it's a, it's a super important thing. We also see a vision where you know the future staffing might be different, might be more flexible, might be driven by 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 various things such as you know staff, robots, tech, everything together. Uh, and I think it's super important that we start thinking about it now. Um, and the third thing, essentially, the big picture value is of course efficiency. If you want driving profitability, you know it really depends or quality or staff or guest satisfaction. It's really up to the property. Um, what is there? current goal, short, mid, long term. And that's then it's our job to support them um, in operations. There's data, there's tech side, there's the automation side. 
there's the integration side between us and all of those things, you know, we can then finally find to drive to drive the values. So I would point out those three things um, that that would be more definitely. Yeah. Well, thank you, Luca. I think it makes uh, a lot of sense, as you mentioned. Um, I think, yeah, we have now a good a good uh, overview of what you do and why you do it or how you do it so well, let's say. Uh, Moritz, before to close this episode, do you have any insight or anything you want to comment? I know you have a lot of insights and a very good experience of, of both tools. So maybe if you have a last and final tip to give to hoteliers, well, go ahead, please. Well, I think that for, for hoteliers in, in, in general, uh, and that's the, also one of the beauties of, of FlexKeeping is the fact that you know when you're working with such an integration on how long is your housekeeping doing on a certain room type, you know, getting that data. And because there's a lot of things in, in, in hotels in general that we that we have between the ears, but we don't really have the stats on it. So we, we make plans yes. based on assumptions. And I think the the the, the key takeaway uh, uh, that I'd like to, to to share is is the fact start getting the right data, uh, structure that, and and make sure that if you take a decision, it's data driven and it's no longer the assumption. It's no longer we think or uh, we, we we calculate it. No, no, no. We know it's a click of a button, and you know. I love it. Thank you very much. Very insightful one. Yes, again, yeah. data is key, I think, and data driven should be should be the way we we approach things. So thank you. Well, guys, um, I just want to say thank you a lot for your time for a very insightful conversation. I hope it can benefit some hoteliers here uh, from our industry. So um, have a nice day. Thank you to all for attending the webinar today or listening to us. Let's say. Hope you can see the other one that you have or follow us on LinkedIn so you will be aware for the new updates. So guys, thank you again. Have a good day and talk to all very soon. Bye. Thank you, Damien. Thank you, Luca. Ciao, ciao. Bye.